hello students today we are going to discuss about the first topic of financial management and that is time value of money time value of money or law of tvm holds that money available at present time is worth more than that of identical sum in the future dates mm, because of earning capacity and i think it is because of deterioration in the value of money deterioration simply means wear and tear deterioration due to several factors like exchange rate fluctuations and inflation etc and there are more reasons for that but if we take the example of inflation inflation deteriorates the value of money so you need to cover that deterioration or if you are not taking money today but in the future date then you are losing its earning capacity then what will you take in response the answer is interest so time value of money discuss discusses about different type of interest so first type of interest is simple interest simple interest always be calculated on the principal amount or initial deposit so there are only two formulas for simple interest through these two formulas you can calculate everything related to the simple interest the first formula is simple interest is always equal to p i and n p stands for initial deposit or principal amount or present value of the future sum i stands for interest rate and n stands for time period and the second formula is the future value future value is always equal to p which is initial deposit or present value and plus simple interest and you can substitute here simple interest is always equal to pin which we discuss later so here are some questions for example if you want to deposit 5000 into bank for 10 years and bank is willing to give you 12% per annum then what will be simple interest and future value so here principal amount on initial deposit p is 5000 n will be 10 and i will be equal to 12% or 0.12 so we just put this value into this formula and we get 6000 as an simple interest and now future value is equal to p plus simple interest so p is initial deposit which is obviously 5000 and simple interest is 6000 so the future value will be 11000 in question number 2 now we assume that if bank will give you 11000 after 10 years at 12% interest what will you deposit now so here in the question future value is given 11000 n or time period is also given and simple interest 12% is given too so here the formula number 2 will be applied so future value is equal to p plus simple interest so future value is 11000 p is missing here or we can take common so p multiply by 1 plus 1 i n so we put future value here 11000 p is missing 1 plus 1 i interest rate 0.12 multiply by 10 and when we solve this the present value will be 5000 which you can check in the first question 
now we come to the question number three that you deposit five thousand today into bank and bank will give you six thousand simple interest offered after 10 years what is the rate of interest so here present value is given amount of simple interest is given and n is given but what is missing interest rate so we apply simple interest formula here simple interest 6000 equals to present value 5000 i interest rate is missing so we just write here the variable and n is 10 and mathematically just simplify the equation and we can get 12 percent rate of interest and it is proving in the first question the rate of interest is 12 percent so now we can skip one more variable and that will be definitely time period for example you deposit 5000 today into your bank and bank is willing to pay you 12 percent in how many years bank will give you 6000 as simple interest so here p present value 5000 interest rate is 12 percent n is missing in how many years and bank will give you 6000 as simple interest so amount of simple interest is also given here so we just simply apply the formula of simple interest simple interest 6000 present value 5000 i interest rate is 0 0.12 and n is missing and written here as simple variable and after simplifying the formula mathematically we can calculate here the time period so there are three or four variables which is related to those are related to simple interest and we can calculate simply with these two formulas number one and number two so only take these two formulas and you can calculate everything regarding simple interest thank you and must subscribe like share and comment on this video because little appreciation is necessary to work more thank you